All righty, here in the country I was born in, we have uh, 240 volt appliances. Uh, it has two hot wires, a neutral and a ground, and sometimes two hot wires and a ground. This one is uh, two hots and a ground and no neutral. And I'll show you how to wire the uh, cartridge shoes uh, disconnect for it. Red and black are live, and the bare ground wire is the ground. And I'll show you how to wire this fuse box. Okay, so we'll take our uh, wire strippers. We'll strip our number 12 wire here. Now it doesn't matter if the red is here and the black is here, the black or red is here. Same up here. It wouldn't make a difference because they're both 120 volts. Okay, so we'll take our red wire. We'll put it under our terminal here and make sure our insulation doesn't get under the screw head and the copper comes up to the top. Push it back into our box. We'll take our black wire and we'll push it into a, put it under our terminal here. I see the copper coming up at the top and our insulation is not caught under the uh, terminal. Okay, there it is. And I see the copper at the top. Now if the black is over here, it would work fine. If the red was here, it will still work fine. But for cosmetic purposes, we're going to keep our red on this side and our black on this side. So we'll take our red wire from the power source. Come over here. There is a uh, circuit breaker in the panel for this. Make sure our copper is under the uh, down all the way in the terminal. Tighten it up. And we'll do the same with our black wire. Make sure our insulation is not under the pressure plate. We'll tighten it up. Okay, now we'll just tighten our connections up really good. One, two, three, four. Okay, now we have to get our ground wires hooked up. Get our wires into the uh, terminals here. We'll open up our terminal here. So put our ground wire in. Make sure I see the copper coming through the other end here. Tighten it up. And the copper went through. We'll bring this one up. And we'll make sure we get our copper through the uh, hole all the way here. Okay, we'll make sure our copper is through the hole all the way. Okay, we'll make sure they're tight. One, 
do is back out of our way here. This end that turns it off and on. And next, we have to take, since this appliance does not require a neutral and we don't have a neutral bar, we only have a ground bar and there's no bonding screw in it, so we have to take our main headed bonded screw, put it in, tighten it down. Okay, so now our box is grounded. This is our uh, tw 20 amp cartridge fuse. There's two of these that go in here, but we only have one right now. We have to go to Lowe's and buy one for the other side, but I'll show you how they go in. You just line it up like this and you just snap it in like that. And this is the up and down disconnect lever. See it has a spring in it. So that spring is so that it doesn't arc there when you open it. So I'll bring the camera up very close and show it to you up close. Turn the flashlight on so you can see it a little bit better. Alrighty, that is how to wire a uh, 240 volt uh, disconnect, fused disconnect switch here in the country I was born in. We have two live wires coming in, two live wires going out and are ground. Peace. Thanks for watching.